Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you. Um, today, I am getting ready to cook some beef and broccoli my way. And if you would like to see how I do that, stay tuned. And also, if you're wondering about these beautiful jars right here, I have a 20% off coupon code uh, that I will put down in the description area. And if you want inf more information about it, y'all stay tuned. Watch the video. Leave your comments down below. I love you guys. Bye, sugar. Hey guys, this is your girl Risa coming to you today with a cooking video. I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Hey, boo baby. I hope you guys are doing alright. Um, it is Tuesday. It's Tell God All About It Tuesday. And we have a lot to tell him what's heavy on your heart, what's on your mind. Something that's happened to you today that you just held in and you just didn't want to say it out loud. And you need somebody to talk to. Tell God all about it and let him release it. Let him take it off of you. And I hope that you're able to do that today. My heart is uh, is full today. Nothing bad happened. Just grateful, thankful. And um, I want to give a shout out to Jackie. Enjoy my conversation today. So I'm getting ready to put some beef and broccoli together, you guys. And I'm going to add a few things to it. And... Um, I'm going to be reading from my notes because basically I doubled everything so but I'm actually going to triple it today. So the recipe that I'm going to put in the description area is not going to be what I'm preparing today. So I'm not going to tell you what all I'm not going to tell you measurements right now because I'm not using that. I am tripling the recipe so it will be down below in the description area, okay? So what I have is not even a half a cabbage. All of my liquids I have mixed in a bowl. I have some garlic and I got an onion that I cut up and I'm getting ready to add that to my pan. Okay, that's my onion and I have a tablespoon of vegetable oil in there. I have all my peppers. I have green bell pepper, a half green, yellow, orange, and red, and I'm going to let those cook. Mm -hmm. I want these to get soft. I'm going to let them cook for about three to four minutes. And I have them on number six, which is like medium high. So we're gonna let that cook. And after that, I am going to put my um, my media. My meat is still frozen. So I wanted this to kind of get a jump on that buzzer. Go ahead and get this going. Get them kind of soft before I add anything else. Okay. What you? I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what you need, and then I'll put the measurements in the description area. You're gonna need some cornstarch, uh, vegetable oil, water, soy sauce, oyster sauce, sugar. Sesame oil, minced garlic, um, an onion. You can use a whole onion or a half, depending on how you like onion. You're going to need some green onion, which I have over here also. And I use two of those. And um, bell peppers. And whatever vegetables you want to add. If you want to add bean sprouts, broccoli, sugar snap peas. Whatever vegetable you want to add, okay? So that's what you do. This is smelling so good. Ugh. And I know you guys can't see. So let me see. Can I adjust you just a little? There we go. I'm not able to zoom because I'm doing this from my phone. Let me wash my hands.
And I have my cabbage here that I just cut, not in any particular way, because we're gonna put this in like the last five to eight minutes and let it kind of sort of get soft. Because I don't want it mushy, but I do want it done. Okay. I'm going to add my garlic. And this is about four, maybe five cloves, depending on how big they are, of garlic. That is perfuming for real, for real. Got my cornstarch. And while that is cooking, I wanted to tell you about these jars that I have in my kitchen. I, use, I am using these in my kitchen. And they are by a company called Infinity Jars. Okay? Let me move this so y'all can see them. Okay. Infinity jars. And the little, the smallest one, I put my cornstarch in. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of my liquid. Just a little. About two or three tablespoons. And this is my beef that I am going to add, okay? I know I can buy beef, but this is what, and it's still frozen, so I'm going to put it in. And this is also going to help create a little liquid, okay? Now, I know it's many ways to do this, but this is just the way that I'm choosing to do it, okay? I didn't want to let these thaw out because I wanted to cook just like this. Excuse me for being in the camera. Now, me adding this is going to slow down the cooking process a little bit. It's going to cool it off, but not much. So, we're going to let that work. I made this dish I only used two bags and uh, it was not enough okay it was not enough so these are the jars by infinity jars and I left the label on this one so you guys can see these are airtight containers and they are um, they specialize in using where their products are to keep your things fresh. Uh, you can use these for makeup. They have different style jars for makeup, for whatever you need, household products, anything. In the smallest one, like I said, I have my cornstarch in here. And this one, I have my brown sugar. Anything that you want to keep in a tightly sealed container and you don't want it to go bad, anything that you need to protect from smells and all of that, these jars are great for that. They also have this really, really dark color that keeps light out so you know it won't, it won't affect your product. So y'all check those out. I'll be putting the information down below. I'm going to add my green onion. Hope y'all can see. Coming along nicely. Yes. So when all of this meat pretty much is thawed out, because it's already cooked, so I don't have to wait for this to cook. I just need for it to thaw out and heat up. It's basically what I need. Okay. 
okay as you can tell the temperature the sizzle has gone down some that's why you always make sure your pan is hot enough you don't want to put it in a warm pan because it's going to cool it completely off On the part. Now, at this point, I'm going to add my cabbage. Okay. Grab me a couple of handfuls. I may not use all of this cabbage, but we're going to see. Let's break it up. I need to chop up a few pieces. You don't want it in. Well, depends on how you like, you know, but anything. If you like chunks, by all means, add chunks. You just make sure you give yourself enough time and enough liquid to accommodate all of that. Okay, got our cabbage. Now, there's not a whole lot of seasoning in here yet because I have it all in my bowl. But I want all of this to just keep together. This is going to be good. The last thing I'm going to add is broccoli. I'll let you sit down there. I'm going to turn my heat up just a little bit. My broccoli is frozen as well. Stir this up with that oyster sauce. All mixed in. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of that. Okay. I'm going to let this go for a few minutes. And when it's time for me to add my broccoli, I'll come back. Okay, guys, I have got everything combined. I added, the only other thing I added was some hoisin sauce, which is two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. And I added um, three tablespoons of sriracha. Sriracha is not needed, okay? I just, we just like a little spice. But I want to bring you guys in a little close where you can see. Everything is all together. And while I have the camera on, I'm going to fix Galen's plate. I'm not going to put him on camera because... <laughs> he ain't got on no shirt. But I ain't like y'all haven't seen him before without a shirt. See, he like his cabbage still crunchy. I don't know if y'all can hear Corey asking for his greens and rice. Well, he got to wait for the rice to cook. I got your rice cooking, son. Okay. Let me get your fork. You know you're going to come back for some more. Oh, crushed red pepper. Mia, why would you come stand right there and do that? Get on somewhere. You all in the camera. Hiccup. Mm. She just comes stand right by the microphone. Okay, baby, taste it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. You taste just like the man respects downtown. Mm. Okay. 